Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is for you. It's good to see you again back on my channel, you feel me? Alright, last, last time I made a video on this game, it had like 300 to 500 players. Now it has like 4k, so I guess it's probably time that someone does a starter guide. So I'm going to just do a starter guide on this game. Uh, make sure to watch it to the end, like and subscribe. This will be pretty condensed, a lot of information, so you should probably watch the whole thing. As you can see, I'm level uh, 778 on my main uh, Beyblade. So I'm gonna switch to this and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to level up fast and what you're doing and the mechanics of the game. Uh, firstly, Q to launch your Beyblade. You're gonna spawn around here. So you have all these level one rocks around you. Break a rock, as you can see I got EXP, um, some BP, BP is like battle power or battle points, I'm not sure. But yeah, you gain BP from beating rocks and NPCs. So as you see, when I pull out my blade, uh, this green bar right here, my health goes down uh, over time. And that's due to my stats, okay? So along with EXP, when you break a rock or you beat an NPC, you get uh, stat points or attribute points. So I wouldn't just, I wouldn't recommend putting a stat in each one of these. I would make, don't make these like balanced. So look how much uh, stamina I have, defense and attack, and no speed. This is my build. Alright, so this in gray is my actual stat points I put in. And the left darker side is what I got due to my equipment scaling. And I'll get into that later. Here there's spirits. So each spirit has a different, different pro. As you can see, they all have like different stars ratings. So five stars means that when you have defense stat it'll multiply your defense stat by a certain amount like as you see here with this blade i have i have everything has five star stamina which is why my uh, stamina is so much higher even though it's only like a hundred and something higher than my defense all right we'll get into the equipment later but first you need to know how to level up obviously just break these rocks um get more stamina if you need to last longer like every time i hit this rock I lose a certain amount of health, you know, and I'm doing a certain amount of health. So the certain amount of health I'm doing is my attack and the, the amount of damage I take from rocks and other Beyblades is due to my defense. So if I have like 50 defense and someone has like a 100 attack, I might only take 50 damage. Those aren't the exact numbers, but that's just an example. So I guess I'll use this as a little level guide. Once you've beaten up all these rocks and you get to like level 10, then or around level 10 then i recommend going to the level 5 trainer talking to him and fighting him because and i recommend level 10 because if you lose to the trainers you will actually lose uh bp and cash so it's not worth it to just try to fight it and experiment especially when you're a lower level and your build isn't like uh you're gonna need to be a little bit higher than the trainer to beat it so if you're level 10 losing to level 10 losing to the level 10 trainer that's perfectly fine and normal i'm beating the trainers until like level 30 beating level 30 trainers when you beat trainers they have a, every trainer has a chance of dropping something dropping some things like uh tops middles bottoms along with spirit rolls and um everything that you can basically get from there except for spirit rolls you can find in one of these boxes all right so these boxes they each give you a different set of Beyblades that you can roll for. Like here is the, the Zodiac and the Draco um, stuff. So if I purchase it, you see what you get up there. I got a Zodiac middle, so you can go ahead and skip this because that's what it is. So yeah, it's basically like gambling and everything has a trait on it or they have a chance of dropping with a trait. So if I purchased, let's see. See, I didn't get a trait. But yeah, when you get things with your traits, like here, I have a trait for... Um, turbo here it reduces the cooldown of my boost skills and slightly increases its duration I also have a trait on this it increases my blades attack by 5% so fighting your trainers and leveling up is worth it um, once you get to like level 20 and stuff like that there's the level 20 trainers here but you can also move on to the stronger uh, cobblestone rocks level 25 trainer and the level 30 trainers level 30 trainer level 40 trainer and so on uh, before i explain to you guys tops and how you can upgrade your tops and stuff like that i'm gonna just show you some training locations i guess 
so here's the, the last place you'll be at as of right now with the level 900 and 800 rocks and the level 850 to 900 trainers um i'll also explain to you how to get a hoverboard too but yeah we got the 70 level 70 metal over here we got the we have bosses too so actually first let me show you the boss so the boss has a chance of dropping all these items he also has a chance of dropping nothing so i'm gonna just one shot the boss real quick so i one shot him with my top skill which is whirlwind and you can see i got lucky i got a blizzard fragment there's a hidden spot over here you can like fight level one locks if someone's in your way more special tops over here there's a beach here where you can fight uh, fight the level 450 stuff there's um blood rocks here level 125 to level 175 trainers over here and um there's like level 750 glass things over here let me find these real quick and then we'll get it we're gonna get into the important part of this video yeah this is the oh the ghost what does that even mean ghost here right next to the level one rocks there's Beyblade shop here here you can sell your items over here or you can you know purchase more things and I recommend going I recommend going through all these finding the stats to pick the build you want to go with and there's also the hoverboards here uh, the, the more expensive the faster they are you can see your money in your bum right over here by the way so yeah when you get in here you can upgrade your parts <clears throat> now as you can see i have three of these wait do i oh my i had to switch to my alt account which has all these items that i didn't have enough inventory slot for but basically when you get here you can upgrade parts as you can see i have let's see i have three of these parts right here these astral tops i can combine them and turn into a tier one astral top and i got lucky and got the um the trait to go along with it so here's the thing though if you don't have the same top three times you can try to combine them but as you can see now it's flashing because it, it has a one one out of three percent chance of being any of these so let's see i just got lucky and i got the cygnus bottom tier one now if i do two tier ones and one tier one it's only going to change that it's going to combine these all to a tier one so that's not worth it at all it's better to take t three tier ones wait yeah three tier ones and turn into a tier two as you can see there and the tiers go all the way to five you need to be level 50 for tier one level 150 for tier two i think and like level 300 for tier three the benefits of uh tearing your things up is because as you see the the scaling that some of the items do it goes up by a significant amount and i'll show you on my main account real quick so as you can see i've done a lot of rolling because i have a tier three tier three and a tier two uh it's kind of hard to get higher than this because i need three tier threes to get it to tier four and it's seventy five thousand dollars for each roll just to get a chance to get this top so you know i've been having a lot of trouble yeah there's a leaderboard system and trading system as you can see the bp is crazy I, like most of these people are just auto farming to be honest and there is a way to afk farm to be honest it's inefficient and it's actually better to just play the game uh yourself and also i could i could make a video on how to auto farm but i'm pretty sure it's against the rules and they also said they're changing something so you can't auto farm so auto farming is probably going to be out the window in the next few days anyways so yeah it's better to just fight trainers get super strong and just defeat the defeat the rocks and trainers fairly you get more bp from beating bosses and stuff let me show you an example like you can really just cycle between destroying bosses and um beating high level trainers if you want to bp farm quickly or something so yeah i got a chains fragment i don't know how good this is but it's good to not sell your items, I would say, because you know what someone wants. Like, this regenerate fragment I had, I paid someone a million and with a bunch of tier twos just to get it because I couldn't get it. I really needed it for my build because as you can see, I have a lot of health 
and my regenerates pretty bro I'm, i don't want to give you too much because i don't want people copying but yeah that's basically it for this video and i'll see y'all later